we ready? I want to welcome you to uh, Board of Zoning Appeals meeting, Madison, January 9th, 2023. Can we have a roll call, please? Mark Acosta. Nancy Burkhart. Yes. Rick Ferris. Yeah. Scott Baldwin. Here. Uh, board members, have you had a chance to look over last month's minutes? Yes. <clears throat> Are there any changes or corrections? No. I don't have any. Uh, I'll take a motion to approve. I move we approve as written. Second. And all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. The minutes are approved. Uh, renewals. We have four. Um, number one, Landmark Apostolic Bible Church has not paid their their renewal fee, uh, I presume, uh, no complaints. Now I move we instruct our attorney to send them a letter indicating that they are have not paid their renewal fee. Their conditional use permit is therefore expired, but if they pay their fee by our next regular meeting, it will be renewed. That's my motion. Second. Uh, could we have a roll call? Nancy Burkhart? Yes. Rick Ferris? Yes. Scott Baldwin? Yes. Uh, number three, Stuart and Kimberly Heisey at 215 East Street. That's a guest house. They have not paid their fee, but staff indicates that they had some issues. They were out of town. So I move that we approve uh, this conditional use permit contingent upon receiving the fee by our next regular meeting. We have a second. So we've got a comment here about the check is in the mail. Yeah, did, according did they to call the, in? Okay. So I have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. And can we have a roll call? Nancy Burkhart? Yes. Rick Ferris? Yes. Scott Baldwin? Yes. Uh, now numbers two and four. Number two, Sean Sands, 2520 Lanier Drive, a wrestling facility. The renewal notice was returned as undeliverable. And number four, uh, Kentuckiana News, 402 West Main Street. There is some question whether they have moved because of uh, rehabbing of the building and so forth and an attempt to reach them was unanswered uh, so therefore I move for these two that we instruct the appropriate staff member to contact them and find out their situation and that if Indeed, they have to pay a renewal fee. If it's renewed by our next regular meeting, their conditional use will be renewed. That's my motion. Second. And can we have a roll call? Nancy Burkhart? Yes. Rick Ferris? Yes. Scott Baldwin? <clears throat> yes. And we just note that uh, Susan Smith, 2355 North K Road, has paid and her renewal is or her conditional use is renewed under new applications we had one uh, well it was oyster catcher LLC was a conditional use permit for vacation home used as a short-term rental 312 Poplar Street uh, for various reasons this one has been tabled or they have requested to table it until our next regular meeting Therefore, I move that we table this application till our next regular meeting. Second. And could we have a roll call? Nancy Burkhart? Yes. Rick Ferris? Yes. Scott Baldwin? Yes. Uh, so that takes care of that. Under our next item on the agenda, old business, there were six people who last month had not paid their renewal fees they have according to our notes here they've all been paid and okay. I just note that they're therefore per those previous motions their conditional uses are 
renewed. So number four has paid as well. Uh, so we move on. Number seven on the agenda. We have to elect the Board of Zoning Appeals Chairman and Vice Chairman. Uh, so we'll open the floor for nominations for Chairman. I nominate Scott Baldwin, retain the presidentship. I second that. Well, we will take that to be a motion since we've had a second. And I don't think there will be any great contention for nope. this job. Uh, all in favor of reelecting Mr. Baldwin as Zoning Appeals Chairman, say aye. Aye. I oppose no. He is reelected. Now, we need a vice chairman. Uh, Mr. Acosta was our previous vice chairman, but we've been informed that conditions of, the, of his job have changed and he may be have to travel or whatever. <coughs> so we need somebody. I nominate Rick Ferris as vice chairman. I chair. decline. <laughs> Respectfully decline. <laughs> <coughs> I've done, I, I did my I stint. I think it's... Uh, I think it's uh, I'm look at you. I'm not gonna look at you. time to uh, step up. <sighs> I'll accept my fate. Joined the plan I'll accept my fate. I'll I do that. I can't do it all. Before yes, I nominate Mrs. Nancy Burkhart for vice chair. Second. <laughs> yeah, I don't I think there is any great controversy or no, any, uh, obviously, no contention for this important post. Could we have a we have a motion a second? Could we have a roll call? Uh, Scott Baldwin? Yes. Nancy Burkhart? Yes. Rick Ferris? Yes. Well, I will do my best not to keel over or anything so you yeah, don't actually do have to <clears throat> conduct a meeting. Number eight on the agenda is adopting rules of procedure, which state law requires us to do. So board members, have you all seen the latest edition of the rules and procedures? Have you all studied them? Mm -hmm. Do you have anything you'd like to change on it? Are you happy with them, at least now? Mm -hmm. Bearing in mind, we can change them at any time we need to. Well, I think I made a note on one of them. This includes the update of the, um, the section two right, this, that we talked about. Yes, this includes an update on uh, the standards that are used for conditional uses, variants of use, variants of developmental standards. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't I don't have any issues. And I don't either. Any other board members? Do you have any additions, corrections, whatever? Yeah. And we'll take a motion to approve the rules and procedures as presented. I'll make a motion that we approve the uh, rules and procedures presented to the board members. Uh, Do we have a second? Second. And all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. The rules and procedures are adopted. Uh, and that concludes our business. There are, you board members will note there have been some other things. Uh, just as a note, last month Paul and Francis Francis had asked for a variance of development standards for a proposed uh, outbuilding on their property. However, just for the record, they have withdrawn that and they have other plans. So is there anything else? Oh, there's one other thing. We are permitted to uh, nominate and elect a secretary for this board. Sometimes we have, sometimes we haven't. 
So I nominate Joe Patterson as our secretary. Second. Uh, I doubt there's any discussion. Uh, <clears throat> uh, could we have a roll? Or, uh, yeah, a roll call. Nancy Burkhart? Yes. Rick Ferris? Yes. Scott Baldwin? Yes. And unless there's something I've omitted, that can should be the end of our agenda. Can I ask a quick question? Sure. The uh, applicant that we were supposed to hear tonight, uh, you said they requested to have their application tabled. Are, yeah. are Last they? month we voted to table it. Oh, okay. And they have withdrawn per staff. Are you talking about this month? No, I'm talking about I'm talking about Oyster Canyon. Oh, that one, okay. Yes. I, I don't think they have their cards. Did, was it the certified mail? They didn't have that. Okay. And is there? Did I read somewhere that there's now a fee if they don't pay on time the uh, renewal? So are we? It, does that start uh, at this meeting or with these? This. So even though we say you have 30 days to pay, are they required to pay that late fee then? It was effective okay. January 1st. Okay. Yeah, it was approved by the uh, city council that way. Okay. It just helps to cover our added legal fee cost. Okay. But, but they, they're they well aware of that. It, yes. And I would have a question for staff. If we make similar motions in the future about allowing them 30 extra days, should we include in the motion a reference to the fact they have to pay the penalty too? So uh, I'm just curious, how, how is that late fee communicated to the applicant? So how far in advance is a renewal notice? Like a month in advance? Or? It would go out three to four weeks ahead. But we do have the power to include in a motion that we could waive that fee. Okay. Any other questions, board members? Nope. No other business? I move we adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed no. We are adjourned. Fourteen minutes. I'll take my turn.